What's up guys, gonna do a little knife maintenance video. Uh, I wanna show you something that's extremely, extremely common and it freaks people out, but it's a very simple fix. Um, and that is just getting rid of surface rust or speckling. Uh, speckling often occurs, or, or I would say most frequently recurs, on parts of a knife, usually the blade, that is bead blasted, okay? It's very, very common on Kershaw knives. I, I found this just from personal experience. This has to be a Kershaw knife here, and this could be my my demo knife. Now you can see that real nasty looking speckling on there right now. This is just from storage and it is surface rust. Okay, it's very common. Now you can see there's a bead blasted blade here. Uh, bead blasting, what a lot of people don't realize is that uh, it'll open up the metal pores, okay? And it makes the metal pores larger, therefore it's more susceptible to moisture uh, within the metal itself, which will promote rusting. Okay, the higher the polish on a blade, um, the harder it will be to actually rust, because when you polish something, you're, uh, you're making all those individual, you know, cells inside the, uh, the steel, or all those pores, rather, um, you're tightening them up, okay? So a, a bead blasted blade, will certainly rust a lot faster than say even a satin finished blade or a, uh, a high polished blade. You'll, you'll rarely ever see rust in high polish unless it's really in poor condition. But anyway, just wanna show you it's real simple to do. Just take any of your lubricants, you know, in this case I'm just using some Ballastol, throw it on a rag and wipe it down. Okay, that's all you have to do. Once you get to this point, now this has been on here for a long time, so I'm gonna see how much of this I can actually get off, but Sometimes you, you can't get some of it off and it, it's past the surface rust stage and it's into the actual steel itself. So what you'll have to do is either buff the blade out, you know, or refinish it if, uh, if it's that much of a concern to you. But anyway, just take a little ballast oil here and you can use whatever you want, WD-40 or Tough Gly. I mean, any of your lubricants um, or cleaners. Okay, spritz a little on there rag here and we do have a sharp blade so obviously just be careful and you'll see that brownish tinge that's on here now this has been on here for a long time Again, just from storage in a damp area. It wasn't really even damp, it was just uh, you know high humidity, I guess. And uh, sat for a long time, so this might not be that salvageable, but we'll see. Just wipe it down best you can. So far I got some of it off, but I can tell that it's not gonna get all of it. And for me, this knife, it's not worth the time. Because this will be a user knife for me. It's not worth the time to, uh, to refinish it or anything like that. So, as we get back in here nice and close, we'll see that I did get some of it off, but what's remaining, what's left, is no longer surface rust. It's actually in the metal itself. Okay, so this is gonna have to just stay like that. Now I could I could bring a uh, uh, a slight abrasive to it, um, such as some flits, and and see if that works. That might you know it'll basically refinish the entire the entire uh, blade. It won't look exactly the same, but it will get rid of even more of that. But for me, it's a user knife. But this one just went a little bit too far. Let's clean up the back a little bit. So really, just a reminder, if nothing else, to, uh, to take care of your blades, you know, you got to keep an eye on stuff like this, and when you're done using a knife, if you uh, lightly oil it, you don't have to really just soak it in oil. If you put just a little bit on a rag and just give it a wipe, you know, like that, two, two strokes across the whole edge, or whole side of the blade, on both sides, and put it away like that, you're totally fine. Knife maintenance is not a big deal, it, it, there's really not a whole lot that has to go into it. It's just a matter of repetition and just doing it all the time. It's not a lot of work. It's just when you forget it and something gets, uh, you know, really deteriorated, 
then it becomes a lot of work. It's just like knife sharpening. People ask me, you know, why I strop my knives. Stropping my knives keeps me from having to sharpen them. Okay, it prolongs um, my existing edge, so it just makes sense to take care of something. It's like anything else in life. It really is. You know, you can use a car as an example. You don't maintain a car, it's going to have problems and things are going to break. If you maintain a car, things will still eventually break, but you can still enjoy it a lot longer before maintenance. So in the back, certainly took off a lot more, but uh, not all of it. Okay, still have some issues on the front here. You can see where it just, it got deep in the, uh, the pores there, so. Might try some flits, might not. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to. <laughs> it's just not worth the time. This is a user knife for me. Um, awesome little knife. I'm not sure if I reviewed this or not yet, but uh, whoa, slippery with that ballastol on there. But anyway, um, yeah, just maintain your blades. You know, that's what it comes down to. If you don't want rusty knives, make sure you take care of them. But uh, for the most part, when you start seeing the speckling, I mean, this was an extreme case because it sat too long, but. If you check your knives every couple days and look at them, um, if you see the speckling on there, you can get rid of it fairly easily. Like I said, pretty much any solvent slash lubricant slash cleaner will do the job. You don't need anything special for this, okay? It's something as simple as a WD-40 will work just fine for this task. But um, just keep an eye on your stuff. That's all. Maintain it, take care of it, you'll be fine. You don't have to go crazy with the oiling. You know, just a little dab will do you. But uh, keep an eye on it, and particularly with the um, bead blasted blades, okay, or even some of the other models where you have bead blasted handles as well. Okay, that is the most susceptible to this because of the fact that the pores are so open like that. So that's all guys, just a little reminder. Couldn't salvage one completely. Um, I'll do another video on it if I do decide to uh, try the flits because now it's bugging me. <laughs> I really normally wouldn't care, but now that I did like a video on it, it's kind of bugging me now, so. All right, trying something different here. Have my flits, but before I try the flits, I'm gonna try a little bit of polishing compound. Um, this is a rouge for strops, and it is an abrasive, so I'm assuming that it will take it down just a little bit. So we're gonna find out together if this works, okay? Color on a little bit of that there. Okay. Being an abrasive, basically you have a liquid with a very, very, very fine sand, if you will. Okay, so it, it's polishing something, but at such a fine level, it's not taking metal off, it's just smoothing it out. So I'm, fi I'm thinking if I smooth out the, uh, um, the whole side here, I will get an even finish and it will remove those rust spots. So we're going to find out. I could be com completely wrong. But we'll see in a second. It is a very light abrasive. It's like I'm stropping the whole side of my knife. <laughs> Nothing to do with the edge here. Alright. Well, helped a little bit. Obviously didn't take it all out, but hmm. hmm, buttery smooth. All right, let's try the flits now. Boom, 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 boom. Dab will do you. Don't need much. Oh yeah, flips is certainly helping. All about patience. And you gotta be careful, because if you do slip off here, I am gonna rub the edge and cut myself pretty good. All right, flips is doing its job. The Flitz is a little bit more of an aggressive abrasive than the uh, the Rouge I have there, the black version anyway. Which I don't remember offhand exactly what it is. 
but hello flitz that certainly helped not perfect let's get it real close it's not 100 percent perfect but it definitely definitely helped let's flitz the other side and then i'm going to go back and do the front again That will do you. Okay, see how much I have on there? It's really, it's like nothing. But it'll be enough for the purpose here. And get wiped down. Again, moral of the story here don't let it get to this point. You don't have to worry about cleaning it if you don't let it get dirty like this. Because it's not really cleaning at this point, it's just rust removal. Man, do I love flits. It's good stuff. Alright, this back is almost done. Looking pretty good. Let's try the front again. Just focus on that one spot. And just, you know, friction is your friend here. Again, be careful because I do have a nice sharp edge here. So one little screw up. And it won't be good. I don't have to deal with blood stains. Now, of course, this would go a lot faster if he had a little buffing wheel on a uh, Dremel tool. But I don't. So I'm doing the old elbow grease. Wow. What a difference. Get the corners there. Get that crap off there. Use a clean portion of this. All right. So there you go. Get it without a glare here. Cleaned up nice. Not 100%, but I would say it took off most of it. Oh, I see a little bit by that tip I didn't really focus on. Let's go back and do that real quick. There we go. Certainly better. All right, so if you happen to get your, your speckling on your knife blades there and kind of last a while before it, uh, you know, before you get to maintain it and to clean it, and then you have a problem cleaning it, I would say Flitz is probably your best best bet here. You can see it did a pretty darn good job cleaning off that uh, that surface rust. All right. And like I said, it was slightly more than surface rust. It wasn't horrific. It wasn't like a completely rusty blade or anything, but it was definitely past its surface rust stage. And this did a pretty darn good job of cleaning it up. So anyway, just a little tip for me to you. Uh, it will help keep your, your blades looking good if you do happen to forget about them or they get damp or something and you get that, that speckling, which is never fun. It's <laughs> for knife people. It's, it's one of the worst things you can ever find. To be honest, you take your, your nice knives, you know, knives, yeah, Jeff, can you talk at all? Knives. If you take your nice knives, or knife, not knives, um, out of your case, and you open it up, and you find that, it's like, it's like horror music plays, you're know, like, oh my god, no, no, and it's, uh, it's horrible to find, but at least now you know one way to uh, to remove it. So anyway, like I said, start off with something simple, get some WD-40 or any kind of metal lubricant or cleaner or solvent, anything like that for guns or knives and try that first. If that's not heavy duty enough, you might need a, uh, a very fine abrasive like the Flitz and that will certainly do the job for you. So that's all guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.